to help people with sex addiction <clears throat> or the neediness of just grabbing anyone. Right now I have a lot of single friends and they have such a laundry list of what they need. They need to, he needs to make this much money or she, she, he needs to have this kind of job. He has to do this. He can't have kids or he, he should have kids. He needs to be in this age bracket. What do you say about that? I say that's very unhealthy. If you're going to have a list, it should be what you should be and what you need to be, number one. Genius, and in, yes. And in terms of what he looks like or brings to it, there's no more powerful prayer than may God's will be done. Because God is love and will is thought. So may God's will be done means may the force that turned embryos into babies, the force that turns an acorn into an oak tree, the force that turns a bud into a blossom. Would you take my love life, please? Because clearly you know what to do. This natural intelligence of the universe, which works in a way that is self, a self-organizing universe that in, it has intention. The universe is intentional. It is intentional for all things to rise to their highest creative possibility. And that means you, and it means your love life. The universe is already on it. You're making a plan like you just wrote interrupts. That actually gets in the way. So the idea is here, God's plan works and yours doesn't. Right. <laughs> and by God, I mean, you know, you can allow the same, the same force that keeps planets revolving around the sun. Run your life. Or, of course, you could do it yourself. And then in love, as in so many things, you take a brutally honest look and say, how, how, how's it going so far? Has it gone well? You're running things? So this business of more running things, more... Love is about giving up control. So how can the answer... For getting into it, be trying to control it by I want this, I want this, I want this. So this is a very different path than that. This is surrender to the idea that there is a space of no thing out of which all things emerge, a great cosmic void, and that the universe is self-organizing. You know, you have an egg, you have a sperm, and the next thing you know, all these cells not only emerge, but they know how to <clears throat> collaborate with other cells to form a little liver and a little brain and lungs. I mean, come on, look what nature can do. And nature also has in mind the highest love experience for you, in, in, in including collaborating with other cells. And that's what love is for. Just like when you and I are here, what is the purpose? The Course in Miracles says something is holy or unholy, depending on the purpose that the mind ascribes to it. So what lifts you and me being here right now is the purpose we have. You want to create something in your career that is, is the highest level it could be. And I <clears throat> want to create something in my life and career that's the highest level it could be. So you and I join, and then together, in collaboration, it can be bigger than we could have been if it was only one of us sitting here. Yes. Now, what happens in the body when a cell forgets that it's here to collaborate with other cells? And says, I don't want to, I want to just do my own thing for my own purposes. That's called cancer. And that malignancy, that's what is, is, is the malaise of, the, of human consciousness, is a spiritual malignancy. Everybody going off to do their own thing. And even that list is an example of that. What I want. I mean, it's like, it's, it's unfortunate because let's say you have, you want a, on your list, uh, somebody who is very rich and powerful. And let's say you meet that person, and then two years later he says, you know, I want to give all this up and go to India. Um, no, the, my picture was that you would be... You have to stay here and be rich and powerful. <laughs> What's wrong with you? That what do you mean you're donating right. all your money and giving it all away? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, there's, a, uh, there's a surrender to love that is not possible within that kind of mental sphere. And that surrender is what allows a space for that which is divine, by whatever name we call that, to emerge and to occur and to grow. And therein lies bliss and joy 